I don't know its name, but it's the perfect place for me to stay five days waiting for my new power unit. I have no cell phone reception and no internet or anything like that. I think I've come a hundred yards, maybe more, up uh, the remains of a logging road because I knew I was going to be here a while and I just wanted to be totally 100% natural where I'm not expecting any company. It's not a biggie, but I like solitude and I like being the only human for a long, long way. And so that's why this self-isolation thing is just right up my alley. <laughs> this is just so nice. Just sitting there loafing. The leaves are just coming out. See my trail cam over there? Alright, the light is just perfect. Time for your close-up, Wilson. You're looking awful good, my friend. Looking awful good. I like my gin and tonics cold. Isn't that pretty? Welcome to my camp. I put up that little tarp because I want to be able to stand up in case it rains for days. It really helps with morale. And now I'm cooking up some noodles and rationing my food. Because if I do stay here five days, I don't have enough food. That's all right, I can figure something out. That's the fun of camping. Three minutes till breakfast and lunch. This is what I got food wise to last me four days, including today. I got these eggs. I packed them in here. 99 cents. None of them have cracked. <laughs> Swiss Miss is so good. These are smoked oysters. I got rid of the box before I packed it in. This was 97 cents at Walmart, the only can left on the shelf of anything like hash or spam. This was about two bucks. I read a review, this is uh, Walmart's brand, that this is pretty good. I'll uh, have some breakfast with eggs in this tomorrow. That'll be good. The tartar sauce doubles as mayo. I haven't opened it yet, so I haven't had to refrigerate it. When I do, I'll put it in the creek keep it cold and I've got a pack of the tuna I'll show you later that'll mix with this and maybe some cheese let's see behind the chicken and dumplings is some Cracker Barrel cheese the remains of a big pack of those uh, Kraft singles my salt and garlic salt oh these are cool you mix uh, mix them with 16 ounces of water and you got like Kool-Aid, but there's no sugar in it. I munched on these instead of cooking dinner last night. Now all I've got is what I've got. I've got a Snicker bar. These biscuits are under intense pressure. I could just feel it. 
I'm going to cook them tonight. And butter. This is the kind I like, but if it leaks in my pack, that's no good. That's why I've got it wrapped up in this bear claw. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to divide this into fourths. This too. And ration myself for the four days. Because like a dummy, I didn't bring enough chocolate. It's going to be so much fun. Hit tuna. Need a little more of this sweet stuff. Bugger. Just crawled on me and bit me. I'm about to kill it and I injured it, but I don't know what it is. I already flicked a tick off the tent, so. Okay now. You're dead meat, you little biting SOB. Is he dead? It's interesting because uh, ticks are like leather. They are tough as nails to kill. But whatever this thing is looks a little more fragile. Out you go. I shouldn't bust on him for trespassing. It's hypocritical. Oh no, I got some sun again today. Damn, I thought my floppy hat was going to do it. It blew off twice. Because I had strong headwinds, but I had the string, and so it just went back. It was tough. There was a lot of traffic, and uh, the roads were bad. I just pushed through because I knew that by the end of the day, I would have selected a very secure campsite to spend the next five days, and I am very happy with this. Very happy, indeed.
That was cool. Filming, I'm not thinking of what I'm doing as much as I should be. Let's see. Oh, that smells so good. It got crunched in my pack. Doesn't matter. It was going to get crunched in my mouth. I got this uh, GoPro chest mount, but it's just too damn tight for me. Made for skateboarders, I think. All right, so this this repair will work, but I've got to attach this buckle, and I'm just gonna sew it with my heavy-duty canvas sewing kit. I haven't touched this thing in a long time. Wonder if I can even get the bag open. Come on. And look, here's the jackpot. Extra tums, always. Those get wet and you're out of luck. And this seam grip, I can feel that there's some in it. And I'll use that later to try and fix the Thermarest air mattress I've got. The other bottle I had went bad. So I don't know what needle to use. What cord do I have any that matches? No. Well, I have some that's already paying out. No, nope, that isn't. I'll go with black. Corona! Don't let them pick your tires and drive them old trucks. Make them be doctors and lawyers and such. Come on. Come on. I thought this was going to be so simple. So, lock that through. Goodness. Come back on 
know. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just do it fast, Dougie. That's what we got a hike to take. Oh, now I think I'm hotsy totsy with my awesome modified GoPro chest mount. I must be the man. I've been working on the camp, just got it ready to show you, and the sun came out. Beautiful. And then I got a branch and I got the leaves out of the way because they're really sticky. They stick to your shoelaces and sandals and everything, so I just cleared it out. I put this uh, tarp up because it's good for morale when you can stand outside of your tent when it's pouring rain. And now I see it provides some shade, which is nice. It's coming together. Now's about the time the deer start moving. And when you startle a white-tailed deer, they go <laughs> That's their little signal that they're pissed off you're in your ter their territory. And so the other thing that will happen, as soon as it's solid dark, the coyotes check in with each other. There might be a band way over there and you hear them yipping. And then sometimes they'll be farther away and they'll answer. The coolest thing was I was camped in Michigan one time. Right about there. The first knuckle on the index finger. And it was pretty remote. So much so that I could hear elk bellowing in their uh, mating season. It was really cool. That was a tough trip. Because I was fishing with a big lure because I could see a big bass. And uh, I threw it out into the lake, but I had a really small rod. That's all I had with me. I had to give it a shot. But the lure stuck in my back. And it was right in the middle. I couldn't get it at all. And fortunately, it was just about dark. And I was going to have to, I had my car then, I was going to have to drive to the nearest hospital, which I had no cell phone then, I didn't know where that was. Or sleep with a hook in my bag and hope I don't roll, roll over. So, these two guys came and they were about 16 and 15. And uh, I said, hey, I need your help. I got a fish hook stuck in my back. And they were looking at the lure and uh, I said, you got any pliers? And they were like, what? They were freaking out. I said, we need a pair of pliers. Come on. And uh, and so I cut my shirt off, or I told them, just go ahead. The shirt's a loss. Get, get down to where it had penetrated the shirt and into my skin, and then the barb was stuck in my skin in the middle of my back. And so they worked on it for a while. They were real nervous. And then I said, just get a grip on it with the pliers, a real good grip, and then just yank it out. Don't tell me, just yank it. And he was like, eh. I said, yank it. <laughs> and he did. And it didn't hurt at all. I think there was 
maybe a drop of blood, not even that. Yeah, think how little nerves you have in the middle of your back. But that was fortuitous that those two happened by. <clears throat> So bad things can happen sometimes when you're alone and you're way out in the boons, but I'm not worried about it. I like this feeling of darkness coming on and I feel like I'm alone. All right, now I'm going to harass the coyotes. They don't howl like I'm going to. They sort of yip this crazy cry. It's just all jumbled up and the others answer in the same thing. I think it's Hollywood that says, oh. But I'm going to do it. Ow! Yep. Yep. I don't hear. But I'll keep the camera on. Or turn it on when they start yipping. Because I don't want to kill the battery. But it is a pretty, it's a scary sound if you don't know what it is. You'd be like, ah. So is the deer wolf. The... Oh, look at them. Good night, my friend.